So the other day, I was trying to flash my BIOS back to an older version for completely legitimate reasons, and a BIOS flash utility would not let me. And it was really frustrating. So if you're also having this problem, or if you can't access your BIOS or your computer to flash your BIOS, um, and like say the BIOS you updated to is unstable, I'm going to show you how to do that. Because when I was looking for information on how to do it, because I was frustrated that you couldn't flash it, I could not find any clear cut information, no video tutorial on how to do it. I mean, there might be one. I don't know. I only searched for like 20 minutes. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to try and make my own thing. And yeah, as you can see on this page for the BIOS for my motherboard, it says. Like, you cannot, this uh, prohibits updating BIOS to an early version. And I know this works on Z170 and previous uh, Intel mainstream platforms, but I could not find any information whatsoever on any other platforms. So if you have that information, I would really appreciate it if you could let me know, because I don't have the hardware to test or anything. And so, yeah. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to make sure you have a clean, formatted, uh, flash drive that's more than four gigabytes and yeah so I'm just doing that now uh, yeah just I don't know why I looked at that but yeah just clean flash drive right and it shouldn't take very long you don't have to do you only have to do quick format because I mean I haven't like you can recover data if you do quick format, but it's not like something where we need to get rid of the data. Like, oh, whatever. Anyways, so you're just going to want to download uh, three things you want to download is your BIOS. This is uh, um, uh, FPT DOS Z170.zip and Rufus. You're going to need all of these to successfully make your. Um, BIOS updating drive. So you're gonna wanna first thing you're gonna do is you're going to open Rufus. I put all of my files in the folder, open Rufus, make sure it's selected on the flash drive you want to use, and make sure you change it to free DOS. Everything else should be the same. I'm just going to go through all of the things so you can make sure your settings are correct. Fat thirty two. I mean yeah, just do the uh, whatever the uh, cluster size I can't read it um for in uh, this but yeah just make sure everything is default and except for the boot selection make sure that's free DOS and it will it should take just a little bit not very long and it should be done and so it should format it and add some files onto it to make it a bootable drive and then you can see down there, You've got some files in there, right? So now you're going to want to go and you're going to open the uh, DOS uh, zip file. Make sure it's unzipped, of course. The one, the, the FD, FPT DOS, and you're going to copy everything in there into the uh, folder. You want to replace the file in destination, and then you're going to go back and you want to go to your BIOS. And where it says your BIOS, it should say, like, uh, well, yeah, it should be your, your BIOS file, and it should be, like, motherboard BIOS, GA, Z170, dot, like, uh, something, whatever. But you want to rename it, make sure it's renamed to BIOS.bin. If it's not renamed to BIOS.bin, it will not work. So you want to make sure you do that. I should have done that on camera just to reinforce it but you need to do that that is essential so just eject it make sure it's all done writing all the files and then all you're going to want to do is you're going to so once you have rebooted your computer you want to make sure you go into the BIOS don't let it just reboot into Windows and what you're going to want to do is you're going to find your uh, boot overrides section it should be in the save and exit and find your flash drive there's, I have two, one says partition one, I'm not doing the partition one, I don't know what's going on about that, maybe it's normal, 
then it should go into this like uh, application kind of thing where it's just gonna like uh, it'll just tell you all of the flash blocks is what I think yeah it'll like it'll tell you the progress on every, of flashing every single flash block in of the BIOS and once it is done you should be good to go Okay, once it's done uh, programming all the plus, you should see FPT operation successful. And once you feel that, once you see that, you should all you have to do is reboot. Once you've rebooted, uh, hold on, should be rebooting it. Yep, reboot, and then you can just go into your BIOS and everything. It should update. It should have updated the BIOS. Um, there's one thing that says that, like something about like your uh, network changing your MAC address. I, I I haven't seen that as any a problem at all. So you should just ignore that. Everything should be fine if you ignore it. So yeah, I'm just it it'll take a while to get back into the BIOS because it's new and. It's kind of like the first time you boot your computer, it takes a little longer because it's like initializing everything. And yeah, any second now, yep. So just going into the BIOS. And here, here we are in the BIOS, and as you can see, it looks very different, which is not in all cases what a BIOS update does, but sometimes it does definitely make it look different. So as you can see, we're BIOS version F6E versus the first time we were BIOS version F, uh, F21. And yeah, everything is all fine, as you can see, and I don't know, uh, yeah. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, if if this helped you out, I would really appreciate if you left a like, and I and shared it with your friends and everything. It would really mean a lot to me. And so yeah, thank you for watching and goodbye.